Liverdeen, and today I'm going to show you how I crocheted this crop top with adorable frilly straps. For this project, I'm using size 4 yarn from the brand Caron Simply Soft and a size 5 millimeter hook. Now, of course, you can use whatever yarn that you would like. This is just the one that I wanted to use for today. Um, and it is 100% acrylic, but if you prefer cotton, it's again totally up to you. Whatever color, whatever feel, whatever material it's made out of, it's totally up to you. These same steps will apply. So the first thing that you're going to do is create a slip knot, and then you're going to chain a chain from that slip knot that's going to wrap around your entire torso to your back, but not all the way around until it's touching. You want to leave a little bit of a gap, unless of course you want this to be a solid back top, but it will be difficult for you to get in and out of it, so I decided to go for a lace-up design, but again, Everything about this is customizable and up to you, so it depends on what you would like. So, after you have chained a chain that is long enough to uh, cover your entire torso to your back, then you're going to go back on it with a half double crochet, and a half double crochet, if you are unfamiliar, is yarn over through the stitch, yarn over back through the stitch, yarn over through the last three loops left on your hook. Again, it's yarn over through the stitch, Yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through the last three loops. Yarn over, through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through the last three loops. Yarn over, through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through the last three loops. Now again, this is called a half double crochet, and I really like this stitch because it is rather tight, yet not too restricting, as opposed to a single crochet. It is a little bit more flexible, and that's why I like using it, but not too flexible or open that it is really see-through. Although, I do still recommend sewing in a layer of fabric underneath the top so that you don't have to worry about anything showing underneath. Or, of course, wearing something under so that, again, nothing shows. And as I said before, everything is up to you. So if you don't want to use half double crochet, you don't have to. Just make sure that whatever stitch you decide to use for this project, you go all the way down the row to the very end and the very last stitch so that all the edges are even. So from the end here, I'm going to chain one, flip the project over, and then go into the very first stitch of the new row. And then I'm just going to continue creating half double crochets on top of the previous row of half double crochets and just continue building rows and rows of half double crochet until the project gets larger and larger, making sure that I go into every single stitch of the previous row until I reach the very end of the row. And once I reach the very end of the row, I'm going to do the exact same thing so that all of the edges are even and nice and straight. So again, once you reach the end of the row, you're going to make sure that you go into the very last stitch of that row, chain one, flip the project over, then go into the very first stitch of the new row and continue on with your next row of half double crochet or whatever stitch that you prefer. And this is what the project looks like so far. And again, I'm just going to continue building and building and building rows and rows of half double crochet until the project gets larger and larger and progressively uh, gets to the point where I put the project against my body and I'm happy with the coverage. Now, I decided to make a crop top, but if you would like to make the top longer than the one that I did, then all you would have to do is make more rows of half double crochet until you put the project against your body and you are happy with the coverage. This is just the size that I decided to make my project, but you don't have to make it a crop top if you don't want to. Likewise, if you want it to be smaller, more like a bralette than a crop top or a full top, then you would just make less rows than me. And of course, this is going to all depend on your personal size and preference. So I am rather flat chested and short, so my project may look smaller than yours if you are taller than me or have a larger chest. 
So yeah, it just depends on your body type. So just continue making rows and rows of half double crochet until your project is about this big if you want it to look like mine. Um, or of course, once you put it against your body and you're happy with the coverage. After that, we're going to either attach both sides together for a solid tube top or you could do what I'm going to do and make straps to give it more of a lace-up or kind of cor corset design. That way you can get in and out of it easier because you'll be able to loosen and tighten the straps. I know a lot of people like solid back projects or solid back tops so the option for you there is just to slip stitch both of the ends of the project together and you'll have a solid tube top but it's really hard to get in and out of those projects so I would suggest to make a strap and all you have to do to make a strap is start from one of the ends of the project and then chain a very long chain. Mine is made up of 150 chains and then I like to go back on it with a slip stitch just to make the strap a little bit more sturdy and thicker and then also I do not like to cut the yarn from the yarn ball and then reattach it to my projects. So I try to make all my projects in one go without cutting the yarn from the yarn ball. But if you don't care about that, then you don't really have to go back on it with a slip stitch. Nor do you have to crochet your way across the top to your next strap. You could just detach the yarn from the yarn ball and then reattach it to where you want to make your next strap. But because I'm actually going to be unraveling this project after I'm done with this tutorial so that I can reuse the yarn for another tutorial, I am going to do this all in one go. So I am making my way to where I want to make my next strap. Now I thought I was going to go all the way across and just make the other back strap, but I decided to might as well make the shoulder strap while I was here. That way I don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm already here, so might as well make the shoulder strap and to make the shoulder strap it could get a little bit confusing but what you have to do is you have to try on the top as if you were going to wear it and then kind of imagine where you want the strap to be it would be easier if you already have a top that is in this style so if you have a tank top that you like the fit of then you can kind of line them up and figure out where you would like your shoulder strap to be or of course, again, you can just try it on as if you were going to wear this crochet top and then figure out what points you want the straps to be attached to. And then once you figure that out, all you have to do is make the strap from one point and then slip stitch it to the back side of the top right here. So right now I'm slip stitching it so it's nice and attached to the back. And then once that is nice and attached, then I'm going to just start on designing the shoulder strap. So for this portion of the project, I'm essentially just making it up as I go along and you could do whatever you want to design your um, shoulder strap. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my first row being a row of half double crochet, just so that the strap could have a nice solid base. So I'm just going over that strap, creating a row of half double crochet. And once I reach the end of that strap, I'm going to um, start on my next row on that strap. So I'm only working on the strap and not the rest of the top. And this is what it looks like so far. So again, the strap is just made up of one row of half double crochet. And it looks like a normal looking tank top so far but we want the straps to have this frilly design that's been trending this summer so we are going to add some more fun stitches so that it can look cute alrighty so for the next row I decided to do something a little bit more open so I am creating a row of extended double crochets and then chaining one, skipping a stitch, and then creating another extended double crochet. And if you're unfamiliar with what an extended double crochet is, it is yarn over through a stitch, yarn over back through a stitch, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two loops, and then yarn over through the last two loops. 
And if you are a beginner to crochet or need a refresher, I probably should have told you this earlier, but I do have a crocheting for beginners video that I will leave in the description box below. Also, if you find this tutorial way too fast for you, it is because I have been making crochet tutorials for about four years now and I have over a hundred crochet tutorials and my subscribers are already used to the way that I make tutorials so I could do them fast now and they're fine following along but if you are new to my channel this is the first video that you've seen from me please 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 first check out some of my more beginner friendly videos even if you're not a beginner to crochet if you are new to my channel this will be very helpful so that you can have an idea of how i make my tutorials alrighty then so after i have made that row of extended double crochets, then I'm going to move on to my next row, which is going to be made up of single crochets, three single crochets per opening of the extended double crochets. So where I chained one in between, that's where I am going to make those three single crochets within those openings. So after I have created that row of three single crochets per opening, then I'm going to move on to the next row. And I really like the pattern of a solid stitch with a more open stitch and then a solid stitch and a more open stitch. So the next stitch is going to be a little bit more open, actually a lot more open. We're actually going to be making loops for the last two rows. So from the end of the strap here, I'm going to chain five. And after I have chained five, I'm going to skip two stitches and then slip stitch into the next one. And that's going to create my loop. So after that, I'm going to chain five again, skip two stitches and then slip stitch into the next one. And then I'm going to chain five, skip two stitches, slip stitch into the next one and create another loop and I'm just going to continue doing that until I reach the end of the row and once I have reached the end of the strap rather then I would have completed my entire row of loops and then I realized that I really wanted my strap to have the edges of these loops because I think it looks really cool so for my final row I decided to just do another row of loops so from here I'm just going to continue chaining five and after I have chained five instead of going into a stitch I'm just going to slip stitch into the uh, loop from the previous row then I'm going to chain five and then go into the loop from the previous row and slip stitch and then chain five and then I'm going to go into the loop and slip stitch and so on and so forth until I reach the end of the row and after that I decided to be done with my shoulder strap and that's what's going to be the design. And again, you can do whatever you want. You can make it as elegant as you would like. You can make it wider. You can make it thinner. Totally up to you. This is just what I decided to do for this project. And I think it turned out pretty cute. So from here, instead of detaching the yarn from the yarn ball and then creating the next strap on the other side by reattaching the yarn to the project, I'm just going to crochet my way over to the other side and then make the other shoulder strap the exact same way. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to crochet my way over to the very end of the project right here and then make my other back strap. And again, this is all because I do not want to cut the yarn from the yarn ball and reattach it again because I'm going to be unraveling this project but if you are planning on keeping this project you don't have to do that you could just um, detach and reattach the yarn from the yarn ball and since my hook was on the opposite side of where I needed to go I just worked my way from the back so that my hook is now um, going in the right direction and you can't even see it from the front that's right crochet wizardry <laughs> So again, from here, I'm just going to uh, half double crochet my way to where I want my other strap to be, then make my other strap, and then 
crochet my way over to the very back of the project and then make my last back strap the exact same way that I made the first one. And then after that, I'm going to lace the project with those two back straps like so. So I'm just going to grab one from one side, bring it over to the opposite side, and then attach it with my hook and then bring it over to the opposite side again and attach it with my hook again. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the very bottom stitch of the opposite side and then attach it to that. And once that is nice and attached, then I am completely done with the project, obviously besides cutting the yarn from the yarn ball because I am going to unravel this project afterwards. And I know that infuriates a lot of you, but I can't keep constantly making projects and buying new yarn it gets um, really expensive really fast so yeah now that you're done with the project you can go ahead and rock it and style it however you like thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and if you like free crochet tutorials you can go ahead and check out my channel underneath the crochet tutorials playlist you will find over a hundred crochet tutorials so uh, enjoy Again, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you have not already, so I can see you next time. Bye!